It's through research that we really care for patients that we never see, right? Certainly the patient in front of us is vitally important, but the care for those that we never see across populations is also instrumental. Research shapes what we do. It, it establishes our, how we practice medicine. If we are not getting diverse populations to participate in, in research, then we're not necessarily practicing medicine that is reflective of all of us. Research is a really amazing opportunity to do advocacy, to advocate for policy change, to address health inequities and disparities, and to improve the quality of care we can provide for patients. Knowing that like health disparities was a line of work that I wanted to do, one of the big things that I was looking for is, are there people that have done research in health services that I can then learn the methodology and then swing it and apply it to the area that I want to work in? And that has been like the cornerstone of like everything that I've done. I've done research at every step, different types of research, but always with the focus of like, well, how's it going to help me get to the next level so that I can actually do the thing that I came into medical school. That, and that was to, you know, change the care for vulnerable populations. Um, and hopefully train the next future generation of physicians. I think to do good research, you gotta have good diverse input. There's a lot of studies showing that the best research, the most highly cited research, is from teams from multiple different backgrounds. And that's the goal. That I think is the cornerstone of where Michigan Medicine is going and is actually putting their money where their words are. So there are true, true initiatives here that have really tried to build on that. To be leaders in best, we have to acknowledge that excellence is a very diverse space. The best of us look different, sound different, um, come from different places. Diversity in research is a big motivator in Michigan medicine, and diversity in research doesn't just come in the applicants themselves or like the researchers themselves. It certainly is a huge part of it, but it also comes in the areas that you study. This is a uh, institution has a bedrock uh, faith and drive toward understanding human health conditions, no matter what people's backgrounds are. And that can be done through uh, everything from basic to translational to clinical to health services to policy type of research. So that spans the spectrum. Other reasons Michigan is a great place if you're interested in health equities and disparities include simply the wide breadth of resources available. And if you're here at Michigan, that means you help to guide where those resources go and the future of clinical care and of research care. So when I started, I hate to sound like an old person now, but when I was an academic in, in preparation, the major way of doing research was at the bench. That no longer is the case. And in fact, the majority of our residents and fellows and students really want to make an impact to the patient now. They don't want to discover an enzyme and figure out the medication that will affect that tumor cell 20 years from now. They want to go and say, hey, I'm going to do something that's going to help this community in front of me. And that's one of the things about Michigan that I've been so impressed with over the last 20 years, this steady growth in translational and clinical research. I don't think you can do work with vulnerable populations unless your leadership is supportive. Not all the work that you do in research is funded. So you have to have the support of leadership to say like, hey, that's really important work. Like, go ahead and do it, and we will be there to help make sure that it gets the attention that it needs to get and that we actually address the issues that need to be addressed. Moreover, and this is what I think is the other major resource that we have, is the attitudes and behaviors of people wanting to be collaborative, collegial, and community-minded. I've worked at a number of different academic medical centers in my, in my career. This is the most collaborative um, place I've worked um, in terms of coming up with an idea and being able to reach out to, to colleagues in different departments with different letters after their name, different uh, specialties to say, hey, can we come together and work on a problem with our, our respective lenses? And the hierarchy here is actually pretty flat. As a medical student, as a resident, as a fellow, I've been able to make inroads and to make change 
that I didn't know was possible before. There is certainly a breadth of research topics that we're covering that have not been addressed for quite some time. And as we're building that, we're also focusing on building our diverse research group. And so constantly making an effort to keep the door open, trying to mentor younger and younger people, females, minorities, to get them to come up the path instead of leaking out the pipelines. I think this is a wonderful place for learners who want to incorporate research into their future career. One of the most important parts is the accessibility to faculty and mentors and advisors. It's really, to me, the most essential part of being successful in research. I've had the privilege of working with phenomenal medical students, and really all it's taken is an email and follow-up emails. That's it. If you show the initiative and you show that you want to learn and that you're in this and you really want to make a difference, the door's open. And some of the best collaborators have been medical students. My role, you know, 30, 30 something years out of medical school is actually to energize you as a medical student. And if I can energize you, get you interested, and you're motivated, oh, we can do beautiful things together. And even if I may not have exactly the right formula for you to succeed, I bet I know somebody who does. It's a place where I have been able to be malleable and to become the physician and the person and the advocate that I am, even beyond where it was when I was a medical student, an increased um, investment in individualized education for students and helping them really launch their careers uh, in the trajectory that they want to go. As a student from underrepresented minority background, is there's no um, doubt in my mind that you will have the ability to find the people and the space to do the things you want to do of individuals that are like-minded and are extraordinarily supportive in your career goals. If you are interested in making an impact and addressing really complex questions, certainly clinically you will have the resources here. But if you're trying to get at it, it from a research perspective, so not just taking care of the patient in front of you, but all the other patients that could potentially benefit from your work, Michigan's probably the best place to go. And it's pretty exciting to know that you can take your passion for an underserved population or for improving health inequities and disparities and have access to all of the resources of an institution like this who are gonna back your passion and make those changes possible for the betterment of care of both your individual patients and an entire community. And I think it's your generation that's gonna, that's gonna get us there, that's gonna ensure that we are um, inclusive providers, but also inclusive researchers, that we're asking um, questions that, that need to be asked that are relevant to all populations and that we are, are uh, providing the best care for everyone. And so if that's your goal, not just to treat the patient in front of you, but the patients across the country and the patients you have yet to meet, to make that type of difference in research, you have asked.